Japanese Driftmaster is an arcade-style racing game with a story about a foreigner who is looking to establish himself or herself in the world of Japanese drift racing. If that sounds like the plot to The Fast and the Furious Tokyo Drift, that's because it is. While the movie was one of the weaker entries in the Fast and Furious franchise, playing a game version of it sounds like loads of fun. The game features hundreds of miles of authentic Japanese roads from rural mountain passes to densely populated urban areas. Players can explore or participate in heated races, flying sideways in a drifting style. The cars are customizable and upgradable for added style and performance. This is another game without officially licensed vehicles, but the cars seem suspiciously similar to real-world rides. Released way back in 2013, Assetto Corsa was regarded as one of the best racing simulation games ever made. It may have taken over a decade for a true sequel, but Assetto Corsa 2 is scheduled for a PC release in the summer of 2024, with console ports coming soon after. Not a lot is known about this title, but advanced technology should make the established series even more realistic. One aspect Part 2 will improve over its predecessor is updated tracks with more detail to add to the immersive realism of the game. Also, there will be weather elements added so players can experience what it's like to drive a supercar in the rain. The game is expected to include road cars and race cars along with the GT racing cars the series is known for. The first test drive game came out so long ago that it was available on the Commodore 64. 20 games later, the series brings one of the most anticipated titles of 2024 with Test Drive Unlimited Solar Crown and Open World Racing Extravaganza. The game features a 1-1 recreation of Hong Kong Island with over 375 miles of drivable roads to compete on or just explore. The Nacon website also promises an entire lifestyle of luxury, high-stakes gambling, and social ladder climbing. The game is a multiplayer sandbox as well as a solo campaign with a story about a shadowy organization named Radiant that sponsors a race competition called Solar Crown. This game features real cars, mostly high-end and exotics, from makes like Ferrari, Lamborghini, and Bugatti, but also some American performance muscle from Dodge. The game will feature roads with left-hand traffic, which would suck in the real world, but is no problem in an exciting video game. EA Sports owns some of the biggest sports gaming franchises, like the NHL series, Madden NFL, and of course, the F1 racing games as the officially licensed game for both the Formula One and Formula Two Championship Series, there have been 17 F1 video game editions released. The 18th F1 comes out in May and promises to deliver the exciting, realistic Formula car racing the series is known for. According to an EA Sports press release, F1 24 will feature new physics that offer a more authentic driving experience that is customizable to the player's style. There is also a brand new career mode with an exciting plot and interesting characters for a great racing narrative. Owners of F1 23 who pre-order the game can get their hands on some F1 24 liveries like the McLaren MCL 38, which is playable now. Recreation is an arcade-style racing game that looks to be one of the most fun titles of the year. It features an open-world environment where stunts and crashes are not only encouraged, but rewarded. There is a track-building mode in which the craziest of courses can be created, and it can be played solo or online with friends. The crash physics aren't just awesome, they benefit the player. 
all the cars in the game can be customized for looks and performance, with details right down to the engine note. These are not officially licensed vehicles, but they look suspiciously similar to real-world rides, including some Mustang and Charger clones. Adding to the fun are 16 genre-specific radio stations, as well as the ability to tap into a premium Spotify account. This is a must for fans of the Burnout games. Stampede Racing Royale is a cartoonish kart racing game with a twist. It features contests with up to 60 players for massively multiplayer online mayhem. With a variety of wacky cars and characters, there are also some great power-ups to help win the race. When it is released, Stampede Racing Royale will be 100% free to play and available on most computer and console operating systems. Presumably, there will be upgrades available for purchase to enhance the game experience and kick ass on the cheapskate noobs. The cars can all be equipped with decorative and functional items, which spells in-game purchases all the way. In the Ford vs. Ferrari days, long-distant race cars were grand tourers. But in the modern age of endurance racing, it's all about hypercars. In Le Mans Ultimate, players can get behind the wheel of some of the most amazing officially licensed competition vehicles like Aston Martin, Corvette, Ferrari, and Porsche for intense realistic endurance racing. Initially released for PC, console ports are coming soon. Le Mans Ultimate is the official video game of the FIA World Endurance Championship and features real-world racecourses. Not only is the 24 Hours of Le Mans available, but other famous endurance races like Autodromo Nazionale Monza, Circuit de Spa-Francorchamps, and Sebring International Raceway will thrill enthusiasts. Playable both off and online, this gorgeous racing sim puts players in the driving seat of an amazing international competition. The popular Mud Runner off-roading simulation game is back with Expeditions a Mud Runner game. While technically not a racing game, it is definitely a motorsport game with realistic off-road driving mayhem. Like previous games in the series, there are missions to complete in the treacherous landscapes that unlock various tools and perks. The new game puts an emphasis on exploration in the massive open world environment. In many ways, the game is a puzzle solver in that figuring out the best way to get a vehicle across a challenging piece of terrain requires thought, as well as trial and error. There may be multiple approaches, and sometimes a winch is required to make it through a tough spot. The game features 19 playable vehicles, though none of them are licensed real-life rides, but they're close enough and very realistic to drive. While Expeditions a Mud Runner game gives players an immersive rock crawling experience, Exocross gives them a high speed off road rally racing rush. Well, sort of, because the game features futuristic off road cars with race courses that are on different planets. This is not necessarily a sci fi game with spaceships and aliens, but the arena of operations is definitely extraterrestrial. The game was originally released as Drag in 2020, but it was redeveloped for a July or August 2024 release. It's unclear how the new version will differ from the original, but presumably the environments will be made to look a bit more outer spacey. The gameplay from the original title is already intense, with a genuine feel of speed and power, so anything on top of that will be a welcome port to computers and consoles.
Hot Lap Racing may have a bit of a naughty sounding name, but it's an elegant and classy racing simulator all the way. Actually, a pretty intense history lesson with real cars and tracks from various motorsport categories and eras. Confirmed rides in this game include Mygel F4 Gen 2, Ligier P217, and Mygel F3R, which are just a small part of the roster of over 30 cars available. Playable both off and online, there are several different racing modes to compete in. According to the Steam Hub, in career mode, players will meet many real racing celebrities from the sport's heyday, but there is not yet any announcement about whom these celebrity drivers are. With over 50 courses, including FIA licensed tracks, there are potentially hundreds of hours of racing fun from this game.